president's overhaul of his immigration team continues. So let's turn to that man who's reportedly in the running to be the new DHS secretary, former Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach, and joining us also tonight, former Border Patrol chief under President Obama, Mark Morgan. Welcome to you both, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, Chris, I will start with you because of the speculation about the possibility that you would be up for this position um, and a lot of attention that you're getting for some comments you made last night on Fox talking about um, putting people into processing camps or areas uh, while they're waiting to have their status determined. Um, whatever you want to tell us on both those fronts, let's hear it. Well, my, my point that I made uh, last night is that one of the problems we have right now is because the system is so overloaded in terms of detention space, don't, we, we, we've, we've uh, maxed out on the detention space we have. Uh, we have to think creatively and make additional space. And one thing, because if we don't, then all these people who are claiming asylum, they simply uh, make the claim and they disappear into the fabric of the United States, many never to be seen again. Uh, my point was we should have processing centers either at U.S. military bases or other facilities where we bring in the thousands upon thousands of trailer homes that FEMA still has as in actually trying to sell right now. You go on the Internet, you can buy them at a bargain price. Instead of trying to sell them, let's use them to help solve this crisis so that we can keep people in comfortable living conditions. But instead of just turning them loose never to be seen again, let's process their asylum claim quickly. I would think most people claiming asylum, if it's a true claim, would want it to be processed quickly. Um, get it done, and if they fail it in, in their attempt to gain asylum, then put them on a passenger plane immediately and fly them back home. And we'll, we'll get back in the home countries that, hey, wait a minute, it's not so easy now just to disappear into America by making a, a bogus claim of asylum, which more than 90% of them currently uh, are not actually okay. legitimate asylum. Claims. I want to bring Mark in here, but quickly, do you want the DHS job? Would you take it? Um, you know, that's the president's call, obviously. Uh, it, it would be an honor to serve him. I served on his transition team and have, have advised him informally since then. Uh, if the president uh, decides that that's the way he wants to go, of, of course, I'd be honored to help him. Okay. Now, Mark, I want to get to a couple of things and have you separate a little fact for fiction um, from fiction for us because you've served under the previous and current administrations. Um, so I want to play something first from Senator Maisie Hirono. She's a Democrat. She uh, firmly lays uh, the blame at the president for these family separations, the current president. This family separation policy was implemented by Secretary Nielsen, uh, putting uh, families and children into cages. That's under her watch, too. Okay, and this is what the president said today about those policies in the Oval Office. Those cages that were shown, I think they were very inappropriate. They were built by President Obama's administration, not by Trump. President Obama had child separation. Take a look. The press knows it. You know it. We all know it. Mark, you were the Border Patrol chief under the former president. What can you tell us about those two statements? So what I'll say is neither president had a family separation policy. But did under President Obama a family separated? Yes, they absolutely did. We, we couldn't, if, if you couldn't determine uh, uh, who the parent actually was and was actually the parent, we would separate them. If they were a convicted criminal or had a warrant for, for a serious crime, they were separated. We did that under Obama, and that was done under President Trump. Now, President Trump, he went further, but again, it wasn't a family separation policy. It was a rule of law policy. They were trying to play, apply consequences to those individuals illegally entering the country. Okay. Mark, let me ask you, though, about the conditions in which these families, these kids were held under the previous administration, under this. Were they different? Were they similar? What can you tell us about that? So, again, the president was absolutely right. The cages, and, and I don't like that terminology at all, the, the Border Patrol should actually be applauded for what they did. Their facilities were crowded. They were unsafe and they were unhealthy. And so they quickly uh, um, um, created these, these uh, new facilities and they were safe conditions. And the reason why there were chain link fences is so the border patrol agents could actually see through, because you had anywhere from babies to 17 year old kids in there, along with parents. It was actually for their health and safety the way they were designed. And they've improved over the years. Okay, Chris, quickly to you, uh, the, the administration and the, and the president keeps saying publicly they're not going back to a family separation policy. There are plenty of reports out there that that is actually the plan. Um, what do you make of that? 
Um, I take the president at his, at his word. We, we do not need to separate uh, families, nor should we, uh, because if we quickly publish the Flores Settlement Regulation, which has already been uh, initially published and it could be finally published any day now, that will define the terms where we can keep a whole family together. So if one member of the family is, well, if, if the whole family is coming in together at the same time in a caravan, then keep them together while we're processing their asylum claim. There's no reason that we should have to if you have a legitimate family. But as Mark points out, in some cases you may have had someone posing uh, as a family member in order to use the children as, as a, sort of a shield or a get-out-of-jail-free card. All right. Mark and Chris, thank you both very much. Tough topic.